Have you been struggling to pay your bills lately? Is your rent due and you don't have the money for it yet? Who cares? Introducing the $120 soul sucking tote bag. Um, it looks okay. Can I use it to carry my groceries? Uh, no, it's too fragile. Okay, can I use it to go out and flex that I paid $120 for it? Uh, no, it's too fragile for it to go out, yeah. Isn't that just a Target bag though? I'm pretty sure they give those at Target for free. A Target bag? What are you, what are you talking about? This has my name on it. Oh. Can you not read? It's a lazy tote bag. So let me get this straight. I can use it to carry my groceries. I can use it to go out and flex that I paid $120 for it. So then what is it good for? Oh, it's made out of 100% cotton. First, we had Cake Gate, the $88 cake drama that happened on TikTok. Then we had the Stanley Cups, the $50 cups. And now we have a $120 tote bag. And what was the other one? $125 mug? What in the rich influencers trying to sell you cheap Walmart products for $120? So let's start off with the tote bag. The influencer who has almost 13 million followers on TikTok. And I've actually never heard of her until now. She's known for making these recipe videos and whatever and she had never done a voice reveal until the day that she introduced that she was coming up with her own tote bags and then her audience finding out that the value of this bag was gonna be the small price of uh, your right titty and uh, your kidney maybe your liver tomorrow my farmers market totes will be available at 12 p.m pst on my site emily mariko so tomorrow january 29th you'll be able to go to the link in my bio wow. and click in to shop. And I'm so excited and I hope you guys love them. You know what happened next day when those bags were released, right? Everyone lost their shit. No, mom, I need this bag. I need to get this bag right now. Oh my God, Emily, please take my card. Emily, please. No, no, Emily, take my, Emily, please. No, Emily, Emily take, take my, my card. Take my, <laughs> take, my take my card. In reality though, no one gave a shit. But in real reality, People did give a shit because going to her website, I wanted to see her bags. S -s 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 sold out. One hundred and twenty dollars sold out. Which which one of you mother? Which one of you motherfuckers bought them all? Show yourself. Show yourself. This looks like a freebie bag with a purchase. Don't they like give you a tote bag everywhere that you go now, like for free if you do a twenty dollar purchase or something? I'm pretty sure mo some places, not most, do give you a free tote bag. She's selling these for a hundred and twenty. Why? Oh, let me guess. Because they're a hundred percent cotton. Who gives a fuck if they're a hundred percent cotton? You know what? I'm gonna make my own tote bag, and the value is gonna be double. You know why? Not because they're a hundred percent cotton. Because I don't fuck with cotton. It's twenty twenty four, and you know what's more important than cotton pubic hair i'm gonna make my own bag so then people were starting to find the original bag that she literally just changed the color of emily if you're watching this please don't sue me at five below for guess how much five dollars that's the same bag <laughs> for five dollars <laughs> What I don't like about this bag is that she put her own name on the bag. So basically like a brand. If I'm gonna buy this bag and I'm gonna go shopping with it, people are gonna look at the bag and they're gonna think that my name's Emily. Like, do I look like an Emily to you? No, bitch, cause I have a dick. Here's the packaging of the bag. Emily, I don't think anyone knows you. Why are you branding it like you're Gucci? And what's with the cheap paper and the cheap box? It's a bag. <laughs> It's a tote bag. Girl, it's a bag. She really thought she was showing us a Gucci product or something. Something so luxurious with her name on it. Like, you're a TikToker that only people on TikTok know. I don't think anyone outside of TikTok knows who you are. When your vibe is minimalist with maximum profit, imagine how much money she made by just buying cheap bags, recoloring them, and selling them for $120 with some cheap packaging. Now, moving on to the next dumb drama, the mug drama guys tiktokers need to find a job honestly they are over here on tiktok fighting over a stupid mug oh my god oh my god there's bigger problems out there like how are we gonna save the kids that died in the titanic <laughs> But we're over here fighting about a mug? Come on! It all started when an influencer bought a mug for $145, $125, and she complained about it on TikTok, and then the person that made that mug reacted to that video while being really passive aggressive. Specifically there for yet, but like I'll figure it out. This, I actually have no idea who I'm gonna give this to. Basically, I was at this market, the Finders Keepers market. How can you use this cup, right? I think it's actually like a kid 
It's yeah, it's a, it's a cute food. small cup. It's ceramic, so if they drop it, it'll smash. But I didn't say that. I thought it just had one handle. I was like, oh, that's such a cute mug. Like, I'm just going to get it. Like, I was like, whatever. Like, I'll just get it. Didn't ask how much it was. She's like, yep, yeah, that's all good. You can tap. It's 100. She's like, oh, no. She's like, it's all good. You can tap. Fucking look at the F-Boss machine. $125. Look how small this mug is. Like, it's literally tiny. That's like a proper mug size. I was like, she like fully wrapped it and put it in a bag. And like, I was about to tap. So I was like, there's no way I can be like, no. I could have. But I would have felt really bad. So I just got it. But now I'm like, fuck, do I give this to her? I'm not going to give this to actually one of my cousins that's small because they'll just break it. So she was just saying how small the mug is and it was very, very expensive. Like $125? You know how many kids I can save for $125? None, because I'm keeping that shit all for myself. So now let's move to the video of the artist that made the mug, which as of recording this, she did delete the video. Why? That was only a short little clip of the whole minute that she talks about how I spoke to her as a business at the market. I just wanted to say thank you so, so much for supporting my small business. It means so, so much. Every single time someone purchases a piece that I make, I have literally spent hours and hours. I'm gonna stop you right there because did she just say small business? Girl, you have two million followers on TikTok. Small business? What? And let's not even talk about her shop and how expensive things are, but like small business. Thank you for supporting my small 2 million follower business because I do these all by myself. Like this is all me. I brush them, I air dry them, I coochie dry them. Like actually my coochie is a dryer. But yes, I do all of this myself and uh, oh, I gotta fix this real quick. Here. Uh -huh. Fix it real quick because I need to show it on camera and uh, give me a massage while you're doing it. I said, hurry the fuck up and give me a massage. Do it quick. Make it pink, yeah, I need it pink. But, but small business stuff, two millies, two million followers. How much money goes towards tax? How much goes towards GST? How much outgoings I have? All my supplies that have also increased in value. I know. It also includes my staff's wages. Everyone's wages, not just yours. Just keep in mind that some people are getting paid $14 an hour and you're over here probably making a $100 profit or something. You live, no worries. But to also have you question my pricing when you too also run a small business and you know how much goes- She doesn't run a small business. The thing that's also upsetting is that you came to the finest keepers market and do you know what? We were all so excited. Even the market organizers were so excited that you came to the market and you were potentially going to shout out this wonderful event that supports small local creative businesses. All the prices were placed on the bottom and okay. you can pick up, handle, you don't have to purchase anything. You can just enjoy my stall because I get it. Times are tough right now. I don't want to put you in a financial situation. I want to have a living wage and I want to support my workers here. So she just said she has workers. A small business that has workers must be doing really well. So I don't know why she's calling it a small business. She said she doesn't want to make her anxious or whatever. You literally made a video replying to her video, calling her out when she didn't call you out all she did was complain about a mug being overpriced she never mentioned where she got it from she didn't bash you she didn't do anything she was simply just complaining about an overpriced mug which i would have done as well i watched you pick things up and look at the prices you picked up a number of pieces of that strawberry collection because it's freaking cute it was a cute looking cup because they were so popular i barely had any of them left you barely had any left huh i thought we were a small business and we weren't doing well with two million followers <laughs> and am i the only one who feels like she's nice baiting it just feels like she's way too nice for a real person it just feels like she's trying to be way too nice on camera you know it's fake why is she playing the victim card so hard like girl relax it's a mug so then soph the original creator who made the first video to begin with replies to the oh my god a reply within a reply to a reply of a reply to that video and says uh girl what the fuck are you talking about i was about looking at them looking at the price why would I lie about this? Why would I make a TikTok saying that I had no idea what the price was if I knew the price? Basically, I see the mug. I think it's really cute. I thought I had one handle and I was like, oh, I'll get that, right? I didn't realize, I didn't know the price until I tapped my card. Uh -huh. I saw that it said $125 and I thought, in my personal opinion, I thought, whoa, 
I didn't expect it to be that much for a little mug. Understandable. Not saying that the price. I never said anything in the video that the price wasn't worth that, that it was not deserving of that price, like the piece wasn't worth that price. Never said anything. Well, about these influencers are so scared of being cancelled to admit that the price for the cup was very overpriced. Maybe this is the reason why I don't have two million followers, because I would straight up just say. It's overpriced. Hi, welcome, welcome. Oh my God, this is a cute mug. Yeah, how much is this? Um, That's gonna be a $50,000 down payment. Two mansions in California near the Kylie Jenner area. And yeah, the Kardashian to the left. And uh, the price of the BBL that you got. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my god, I'm just kidding. It's only $125. $125. Go fuck yourself. Oh, and shove this up your pussy. About how I didn't know it was that much money until I tapped my card. Still bought it. Didn't even know it had two handles because I didn't see it. Like, I just saw it from an angle where I obviously thought it had one handle. Whatever, yeah, cute. She is now making this video saying that I was picking it up. I looked at the price on the bottom. I looked at the price of a few things. She's telling me that she talks me through the price and that she talks me through the whole strawberry collection. This did not happen. I don't know why people feel like they can make videos saying my name and just throwing absolute lies in there to get views because the video has so many views. The video has so many likes. The video has so many comments. So she was bullshitting me. Of course, all my haters are going to run at that and just take that. Like, people just take things, like, take things with a grain of salt. This did not happen. Even if it did, in the video, I didn't even say anything bad. All I said was that I, I knew it. She seemed so nice. You know when people are so nice in a fake way, though? Like, you can tell when someone's being so fucking fake about being nice. And I got that vibe from her. Like, I don't care that your cup is $125. Like, I mean, honestly, yeah, I do care. Like, that's very expensive. I would never purchase a cup like that. But you're an artist. I get the cup would be 50 bucks, maybe? But 125 I was shocked because I didn't expect it to be that expensive. God bloody shoot me. Like, oh my God. I don't understand why things get blown out of proportion so much and why people think they can just throw the my girl was mad because it gets really exhausting when every day there is a new scandal coming up with my name in it just so people can get views because it just didn't happen. I remember her having long brunette hair, even if whatever, even if she dyed her hair, whatever, and that is her. She didn't talk me through the strawberry collection. She didn't show me the mug because I can assure you if I picked up the mug, I would have said, I'll leave it because why would I get that mug with two handles? Like, it just doesn't make sense. And I'm sick. This is why I'm making this video because usually I would just leave it and just let people like trash my name but i'm sick of people using my name to get views for shit so it looks like our girl shelb was mad that self complained on tiktok about the price which she had all the right to do she bought the cup she might as well complain that it was 125 dollars now this is when things get complicated because Soph over here does not know that she's a lucky bitch because the day that she bought the mug she was actually hit by a machine slot she was that lucky because the cups are from 140 dollars to $150 and our girl got a $20 discount and she's still complaining she saved you 20 bucks and you're still complaining she was about to throw the 150 at you but she was nice enough to save you $25 and you're still complaining oh my god I can't imagine her coming at me with her tiny cup and being like here you go 150 bucks as I was going through Shelby's business on TikTok, it looks like she's actually running a really successful business. She has a huge shop. She has a lot of work. I don't know why she was uh, calling this a small business because it definitely ain't looking like a small business to me. But one of the comments that made me laugh said, the day I can afford to buy things from you is the day I know I've made it in life. That's a goal, honestly. When you can afford to buy a $150 mug from Shelby, you know you made it in life. Congrats. Anyways, that's the end of this dumb drama video. Oh my God. Mug drama, tote bag drama, cake drama. Can these artists in the nicest way possible shut the fuck up? If you did enjoy this video, click like, subscribe, and the bell icon. Because if you do, you'll be supporting a small business like me. No, I'm not a... If she's a small business, then what am I? I'm a fetus business. I'm even smaller than a small business. I'm a fetus. You'll be supporting a fetus business. So hit like, subscribe, and support a hungry fetus like me. That sounds weird. Oh my god. That sounds weird. I'm sorry. <laughs>